Hey, everybody. Welcome back and happy Sunday. Okay. I feel like the weekends fly by so fast. And there has been so much drama already in this year for the Bravo universe. And we're only on day seven. I mean, think about it. We have the Monica Garcia reality von Tees. We have the Anna coming back to confront Alexia. We have, it's, there's like a whole list of crap. It's like slipping my mind right now. And the Trust Amigas breaking up, which we're about to break into because there's a lot of receipts going on here. So before we do, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Hit that notification bell and let's get into the drama. Okay, you guys, so the Trace Amigas have officially broken up. They went from one threesome to two separate sums, which was one one sum and one two sum. Okay, that would be Vicky and Shannon are still together and Tamara is on the outs. I'm going to explain everything that happened, but first it started with this. Now, Shannon felt betrayed after she realized that Tamara Judge commented on Alexis Bellino and talked about her rejoining the cast. Yeah, that caused a lot of drama between them. And from what I'm understanding, Shannon just felt like, wait a minute, Tamara, her and her husband or her husband, or they keep on saying Alexis was a part of this lawsuit, which I never heard about before, but they sued us or her husband sued us. Why are you advocating for this woman to come back onto the show? And now she's dating my ex and you know how bad that hurt me. And Tamara, I think is looking at it from the perspective of, we need to put on a really great show. This keeps the ratings going. And I feel like she's looking at it from a business perspective. I don't think that Tamara's looking at it from like a, a friend, okay, I'm going to have your back completely entirely perspective. And I could be totally wrong. I think she's looking at it like the Real Housewives of Orange County is a business. And we're going to do what we need to do in order to keep this business thriving. So the trust in me, guys. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'm going to break into the first set of just things that came out. Here we go. So if you guys are looking at this right now, you could see where there was a person who wrote from Tamara Judgy Eyes, the Tamara and Vicky breakup happening on January 6th is crazy. Like Teddy Voodoo is insane. Tamara Judge wrote, yeah, January 6th is not a good day for her. Now, this was to our friends over at Biwig Hello Drama, but Teddy Mellencamp, if you think about it, going back, said, any other Bravo fans watching, I love that for you on Showtime with Vanessa Bayer. It's about a girl who scams her way into a job lying about having cancer. Just feels so familiar. Well, Vicky Gumbelson clapped back saying, wow, low blow. You know nothing about what transpired with my ex. This is why you only lasted three years, me, 14. And Teddy came back and said, well, if we're talking numbers, could you let us all know where you were on January 6th? Almost implying as if she was at the Capitol riot, which was, that is a wild thing for her to be putting out there. Teddy, I feel like, though, is constantly throwing things again. Like, she's throwing pasta at the wall and seeing what sticks. Nothing ever lands for Teddy. On Watch What Happens Live, Andy gets annoyed with Teddy. When Teddy came out for the squash that beef with Vicky Gumbelson, that just like she said something about maybe I really trigger you because I have actually had cancer. And Vicky even said, you're disgusting and got up and walked away. It's like everything that Teddy comes in with, it's calculated and it doesn't land and it doesn't make sense. And this is probably why she was on the show for not too long. And I know that Tamara Judge wants Teddy Mellencamp to join the Real Housewives of Orange County. I just think that it would be a big mistake. Like if you want to bring her in as a friend, like that just makes random appearances like a Faye Resnick, then okay, bring her in as a friend that makes random appearances like a Faye Resnick. But Tamara Judge wrote, my friend, my soulmate, my sister, my ass. Mm. Okay. This was on a flyer for Shannon and Vicky live because they posted this. And it said, two T-holes have nothing on Shannon Bedore and Vicky Gumbelson and their guest host. We know which show we'll be watching. Oh, this is my favorite. Hold on, get ready for this. I just say hi. That's it. I'm good. Have you said hi? I did. Oh, you saw her? 
Well, she was with you, and you were standing there, and I said hi to her. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, and I, I know. said hi to her husband. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, she asked me where I was January 6th. That's pretty much gloves are off on that one. Yeah, but you went after her first. Well, actually, I didn't, but we can go you there. You did. You're going to defend Teddy no matter what. So I will. No matter why, not defend me. Because I'm, you, okay. you know, okay. I'm defending the truth. I know you the went truth. after her first. Okay. Tim, that's not the truth. Yes, it is. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Later. Okay. Now. Back to it. My friend, my soulmate, my sister, my ass. Yeah. They posted, the Trace Amigas have broken up. Now, Tamara Judge posted a photo of herself saying, Uno, out of the Trace Amigas, where you can so clearly see where Vicky Gumbelson posted, grab your girls and come whoop it up with us in a few weeks. Link in bio for the tickets. Who's ready? Shannon and Vicky live comedy tour. Laugh, fun, gossip, and sing. For tickets, go to www.hpatickets.com. And they showed their guest host, but mm, now we have Kelly Dodd entering into the conversation. And this is probably where you don't want to be, is on the other side of Kelly Dodd, because um, that's not going to end well for you. So Kelly Dodd said, I would sue Tamrat. You guys put an LLC... Had future gigs lined up. Tamara is diabolical. That's why they love her at Bravo. They did you a favor. Not having you back. God's rejection is God's protection. Love you. See you in Mexico. Can't wait. Okay. Now this comment was made by Kelly on Vicky's page. Vicky liked the comment. Does this mean that she agrees with Kelly and thinks that she should sue Tamara? Um, I don't know if she would go as far as to sue Tamara, but... Then there was another person who was called Astro saying, love this. Day one, Real Housewives of Orange County fan actually rewatching it again. Good move and fully in support of no Tamara on this. The lack of loyalty from her is cringe. I'm over it. And Vicky said, yep. Also, another person said, agree. She's done it to Vicky for years, taking other people's sides. And now to Shannon also. Raising my glass and whooping it up to Dos Amigos. Twins Gaga 15 said Shannon doesn't need to be raising a glass. She should be going to AA instead of the road. Ugh. Precious 42318 said at Twins Gaga 15, really? No one is perfect. We all make mistakes, and I'm sure she learned from her mistakes, and she got the help that she needs. Be kind. It's a new year. Happy New Year. And then Nana Teeters wrote, Twins Gaga 15, comprehension isn't your thing, is it, sweetie? I said I'm raising my glass to Dos Amigos. Nobody said Shannon is. Stop clutching your pearls, Karen. Find some joy today. Oh, my God. Everybody's just fighting over this. Astro, she really couldn't be any worse of a friend. She's foul. Good one. And, again, Vicky said, yep. But wait. Wait, wait. So I was looking at one of these and seeing that Tamara actually commented on one of them about loyalty, which I thought was really, really funny. But before I get there, Vicky and Tamara have unfollowed each other. And somebody said from Bravo and Cocktails, I'm devastated. She said, actually, she unfollowed me because I called her out on her loyalty. And Tamara went in and was like, this woman has never been loyal. She doesn't know loyalty. But if you have LLCs and businesses involved and you had gigs lined up, I'm wondering, do you have to pay to get out of the gigs or can they just carry on the gigs without you and then you don't get any money for the gigs? But if you have an LLC and other protection against the business, as long as they're not going on a Trace Amigas tour, because now it looks like Tamara and Teddy are bringing in Emily Simpson to be a part of the conversation. As long, And I know that she put Trace Amigas online, like, with a photo of the three of them, as long as she doesn't market it as a Trace Amigas tour, I think that she should be fine. But I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Go ahead, pop off in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.